Hey folks, just thought I'd uh, throw together a quick video. I've been getting a number of inquiries about uh, the antenna setup that I uh, am look, planning to erect uh, at my primary residence for my helium hotspot miner when it arrives, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. But anyway, uh, what we have here is a 15 meter or 50 foot uh, telescopic antenna mast. Uh, it is primarily constructed for uh, television antennas, but is equally applicable to uh, to radio antennas. Uh, you quite often see these being used as a uh, a base antenna for CB radios, two-way radios, and the likes. So, uh, looking up the pole here, as I say, this is uh, telescopic in nature. Each section is approximately five meters in length correction to that, every length is three metres in length and there are five of them. Uh, and as you notice there, uh, each length actually has the guy wire points uh, in place. Uh, the height of this assembly is going to definitely need to have guy wires. That uh, makes this job a little bit tedious um, and not something you throw up in half an hour, but is definitely well worth it. So I have my guy wire down here. Uh, Alright, running up the pole, uh, given that it is going to be mounted on the roof and my uh, router, if you like, my internet source is down in my living room, uh, I'm going to be running a Cat8 uh, cable up to the, uh, the hotspot. Uh, the Cat8 cable uh, has the greatest resistance to uh, to, um, what's the word I'm looking for, for uh, interference, electrical interference, and it's also weatherproof, which means that that's the best cable to use. Uh, for a length that long, you could use CAT6, uh, but CAT6 is actually generally not rated for outdoor use and is more prone to actually receiving uh, interference in the line. And... Uh, I'm trying to minimise as much interference as I can and produce the maximum gain for uh, uh, transmitting and receiving out of my antenna at the top, which leads me in this case to which antenna is that. <laughs> uh, that just happens to be the antenna that I have with me at the moment, uh, which is the 5.8 rack, uh, rack antenna. Uh, I also have uh, three, three dBi antennas ordered through Nebra. And I have an 8 uh, dBi antenna that is ordered from RAC. Uh, those, the latter, are still actually en route to Australia. Okay, so the box here is where my miner will be actually housed. Uh, the antenna will be up the top. And the, uh, the box here, which is a, an IP65 weatherproof box, uh, they are not waterproof, meaning that I can't submerge it in water, but uh, this is the industry standard for uh, keeping any electrics safe from uh, weather. And that can be even a direct jet of water. Uh, whilst here in Queensland we do have pretty major thunderstorms, um, I feel in this one that we're going to be very safe. So uh, inside, uh, the weatherproof stripping is there and it obviously gets screwed into place. Uh, this will be mounted at the top of the pole, uh, approximately one metre down from the, the base of the antenna. And that will be held in place with some uh, U-clamps and uh, affixed to the post. Uh, there will also be, uh, because unfortunately the uh, Nebra units that I have on order at the moment do not have power over over Ethernet, I will also have to run a power cord up the uh, up the mast as well. And uh, the antenna coax, which will be a very short length of approximately uh, one one meter to one and a half meters, uh, and obviously the Cat A cable and the power cable will all come in through the base of the unit in through one of these round circles here. That will be knocked out and I will be putting the appropriate uh, weatherproof connections on there so the cables can actually uh, run up through there. Uh, what else do I have in the connection? Running down to the, the base of the antenna. Uh, this particular unit here is a, a hinging antenna base. Uh, it best suits my roof because uh, I have a, 
a rather steep incline that I'm going to be mounting it on. I will actually take a video shortly uh, and show you where it's actually going to be placed. Uh, so I think that's it for the moment. Uh, I do plan on creating, as I say, this is my main base unit here. Uh, and I do have four additional uh, helium hotspot miners on the way, all of them coming from Nebra at the moment. Uh, and I will be creating four other units that I will be hosting at friends, family, or uh, other premises. I will have a setup similar to this, uh, where I'm looking to actually mount the, the, uh, the miners external to the house. Uh, but in those cases, it will only be uh, approximately a, a two metre pole. So I'm really only looking to mount uh, units at you know, about, about gutter height so that it gets above the roof line. I would love to go higher than that, but obviously I'll have to negotiate that with, uh, with locations one at a time. Okay, uh, as I start erecting this, which will be a job to do over the next couple of weeks, uh, we'll plan on actually placing the antenna in place let's have a look actually see if we can see it from where yeah okay so that that location up there to uh, the right hand side of the roof is actually where the antenna is going to be placed it'll have the base down there uh, the distance between that point and the base is approximately 1.5 meters meaning that the first connection will be up here at approximately 1.5 meaning that I can then actually stand on the roof uh, to extend these units uh, up as uh, as I need to uh, it because it is three meters essentially from the base all the way to the top uh, it whilst I would love to utilize that uh, that last one and a half meters there to put it on top of that roof and go up even higher still uh, I need to be able to extend the antenna safely and I'm also going to be wanting to test different antenna configurations plus be able to get to the box if I need to uh, so that's why this unit here will just be collapsible and it needs to be uh, easily achieved so I'm actually going to be putting a work platform up there on the roof on obviously on the top side of the roof where I can stand I've got uh, anchor points which funny enough were from my previous uh, antenna mast but that antenna mast was only five meters uh, so whilst I still have that I won't be using it but I will be using the anchor points as my anchor points to go with my harness that I will be using when I'm up on the roof actually working on this uh, yeah it's uh, I, I'm used to working from heights but one thing I know is that I got to keep safe so anybody that is looking to do any work on the roof of their premises uh, on their house whatever it may be please guys I know uh, helium uh, HNT credits are important and we all want to maximize our returns but it's no good having a fantastic setup if you're uh, if you're dead or injured so make sure safety is always paramount when you're working on high locations all right, with that, uh, I guess look out for uh, future videos as they roll out uh, with the unit as I start putting it into place on the roof. And uh, then ultimately, when the magic box arrives that's going to go in that little box, that's when the magic really starts to happen and things get exciting. So check us out as we go along. Cheers for now.